Nice movie. Uh, what motivated you to uh, basically you know, produce this movie? Was it some personal experience or was it uh, some kind of, uh, you know, you came across some people who had these kind of, you know, situations? Yeah. Yeah, it's um, it's about locked up human potential, basically. Um, I I had a I had somewhat of an experience like this. Uh, the, I graduated out of out of school, out of Indiana University. I went to the Silicon Valley, and incubator said, "Do you want to make your master's thesis into you know a startup?" Uh, but they won't sponsor my visa, so that was the end of the story for me. But then I saw a lot of other friends, a lot of other people who had these great ideas, could not really do much. Uh, there are a lot of other immigrant entrepreneurs who are running their companies outside of the U.S. just because of the laws over here. Um, so it's an interesting sort of uh, the human potential being locked up, and that that kind of became the inspiration. And simultaneously, I was writing that blog which I mentioned, uh, which was like a more of a amateur anthropological book blog. Uh, and then there was this reverse brain drain phenomenon happening. A lot of lot of people actually going back and pursuing their dreams uh, somewhere else. Uh, so it's like a convergence of all these things that came together. I'm sorry I'm pushing this question. Uh, but I'm thankful to the Consul General that we had the opportunity to see this movie. But you know, if we compare this with Sudesh, this is the you know contrast of that. I mean, are you trying to convey some message through this, or is it just you know for the for the people to judge? Absolutely, there is a there is a message, but it's all about it, it's right there in the last dialogue. You know, uh, it, life doesn't just run on hope; it also runs on perspective. Uh, it depends on how you look at it. The thing is that there are lots of opportunities now outside, and uh, you know, this was the land where you would come and pursue your dreams, but that's not the truth. Technology really has democratized a lot of things. Uh, so you can really go pursue it anywhere, uh, which is, you know, which is sort of what the film is portraying. There is no really design message over here as much as, you know, what, what you get out of it. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for making this movie, it's really nice. And I can very much correlate with that because I own an IT company. So you can understand the companies who was working and sponsoring Visa and that's my company too. My question is that exactly the same thing happened with one of my employees. Uh, his name is Arun Nava. he graduated from Harvard. I hired him and at that time we didn't have a job for him so he had to, by force he had to go back to India and definitely he is doing amazing right now. But my question is that what you were trying to show that when people are forced to go back, then only they do good, I couldn't understand that part. Because he very much wanted to stay here, but he was, you know, we couldn't, um, somehow we didn't have that particular technology job at that time, so he, had, he was forced to go, and then he's doing good. So actually, I was a little lost at what is the, you know, what was the motive behind this movie that people are forced to go, then only they can do good, or? Not, not at all, it's what I was answering with the, it's what you get out of it, you know, there was one way of looking about, see, lots of stories have been told about wanting to come to America sure. and want, like, this being the uh, land where you can really chase and pursue your dreams. Mm -hmm. That's not the truth and that's not the reality that we live in anymore. Uh, and that's kind of what uh, we're trying to portray over here. Uh, you know, anybody can. Anybody with a laptop can really start a business and can really change change stuff if they wanted to. Uh, so I don't. I don't think the, the point is that only if you are forced out. The point is now you have a choice, and now it's not this be all end all kind of situation that hey, if I get, you know, Kunal Bell is a great example who started Snapdeal. Um, again, I think I mean, bought an MBA, couldn't really uh, couldn't really do it. And so we start snap deal now. And in fact, I wrote the story in 2011. Kunal Bell's success story happened in about 2013. Um, sure. So lots of lots of those kind of cases. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, good evening. Uh, thank you for showing this movie. It's very interesting. I'm in a different stage of my career. I've been here for the last 40 years, 
And uh, recently I have a nephew who's going through exact same situation. And the sad thing is, he came as H4 also. Still things are not working out. The interesting thing is how many succeed? The choice, what you are trying to say is, success is not for everybody. Success will not happen for everybody. There has to be luck, there has to be resources, not just resources of mind, resources of money. If it is a dream come to your picture it. It's a very nice Bollywood movie without so much yank, but it's not as realistic as it is their picture. I, I, that's my, my experience with many people I see around. So what I'm trying to see is, do you have, are you showing the solution? No. What you're trying to show, what you said is whatever I see. So my person at my age sees, sees differently. A person who just came and landed here sees differently. So I think uh, it can give mixed uh, uh, message to people. It could be discouraging, yeah. may not be encouraging. Sorry to say at the end. No, no. Thank That's you. interesting that you bring, bring that about, but don't you want to be hopeful is the big question. Uh, don't you want to show the inspiring stories? How many, let me ask you this, how many Sundar Pichais and Satya Nadellas are there in this world? But we look up to them for inspiration, don't we? Uh, that's, how we that's how we gather our inspiration, that's how we gather our success. Sure, nobody, not everybody is going to become a billionaire. That's not been the reality for forever and ever. That's not the point. Uh, the point is to provide hope and to provide inspiration for people to do and pursue their dreams. Uh, and all these restrictions that we have in our minds uh, is not true. Is to, to break free from them. Whether you succeed or not and what is your definition of success is all very relative. So no, I, I agree with you, but I want to see that message mentioned somewhere rather than leaving it in the air. You say whatever you want. That's a different kind of a message. It's like a noise without any signal. Sure, I'm, I'm, to see. sure. I'm an artist. That's, I'll leave it to the economist to put the data on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yes. Yeah. Uh, relating to your. Um, my nephew been through this, my brother's son, and um, two, three times he came from India and he had to go back, and now he's got a good job in Hyderabad and he's doing really well so um, and he's very happy so you know it's pretty much like this kind of story yeah. so I can tell from my family yeah. this relates a lot thank you thank so you. much thank you so much and that 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 is uh, you know your your uh, reaction echoes with all the other cities you know 16 other cities that this has been shown to Everybody sort of relates to some slice of this film, some part of their story, their immigration story um, comes through and you know it's very satisfying to see that, that it's, it's so relatable in, in every city that I've gone to. Um, and it's absolutely right, you know, why not? Why do you have to be over here? Why do you have to be over anywhere? It's a, it's a globally connected world. You can really be anywhere and pursue your dreams. So I'm glad for your nephew that he's found success in either place. Thank you. Thanks. There's a question there. Yeah, this is Vinita. So I'm in a business of fashion and beauty and have been hearing such stories almost 15 years and I have both sides of the story always. So what I was gathering from your movie was this. Okay, some people do get lucky to get settled where they are when they come here. But people who are not getting lucky enough no problem, now you have a choice. That's what you are telling them, don't lose a heart, don't lose hope. hope. That's what I feel you are trying to tell those people who are not being able to get some way in this country, so they, don't, they shouldn't get depressed about it. And there is a ray of hope back in home, and that's what I feel you are trying to tell. So if you get your way, it's fine. If you don't get your way, then also it's fine. So that's what I am gathering, and I think I like it. Thank you. It's amazing times we live in. You're absolutely right. These are amazing times we live in. You really can make up your own realities. Um, and it could be anywhere. Thank you for bringing that up. So, Rishi, this is a wonderful movie. And as my wife said, and we could definitely correlate to this movie. We came in on h one b 16 years ago. So, we've been through the journey and then we are part of that whole fraternity. What I would like to ask, like, what's next? 
what are you coming up with the next project? Anything you want to share? With <laughs> like what I mentioned on the podium, the next, uh, I mean, you know, art aside, writing aside, I think the next big project is to sort of uh, bring it into the into the public, uh, bring it into, uh, you know, I need to have public awareness of this uh, topic. I've had an immigration, you know, I've shown this to multiple immigration lawyers. Some of them come up to me and say, they practice immigration law for over 20 years and they come up to me and say, like, I finally understand why my clients are so anxious all the time. Um, so the way I look at it, this is a product, it generates empathy, uh, it generates awareness, uh, and I really, the next project in the next phase is, you know, campaigning to bring it at that policy level and at that public awareness level. So I am actually, you know, rallying the community and I encourage everybody to pick up the card that is outside, there's quite a few of them outside. Uh, I'm really going going back to the community so I can get campaigning funds and I can get it out. You know, I'm going back to DC again. Uh, I will hopefully try and show it at Microsoft sometime soon. Uh, it really boils down to campaigning. It really boils down to uh, you know the community getting together and the funds coming together to bring it out. And this is the election year, so this has to be this year. That's that's my uh, that's my drive, and that's the big project. Um, of course, there are several challenges. I'm on H1B myself, uh, you know, uh, and we're a very tiny team. We're just a team of two, essentially. Um, but we've come so far, and I have complete faith that you know the community will rally around us, and we will be able to get this into the in front of Congress members. Uh, you know, these are great opportunities uh, that that you know I'm very thankful for, uh, and. I'm sure that we'll be able to get it, but we are still looking for community support and lots of it. You mentioned that that um, this is immigration is an important issue this year. So, if you were lucky enough to be on television, radio, and so forth, are you ready for the question or the the uh, point that Trump can say? You see, they can all stay home. How would you? How would how do you? How do you refute those people? You know. Uh, Again, as as I'm, I'm the artist, I'm not really the policy maker or the lawmaker. Uh, this is this is how America loses out on its global competitiveness. Is what is what I feel. Uh, when people are coming to your home and trying to you know uh, pursue such great ideas, you know bring in so much of prosperity. Why wouldn't you make that process easy? Why wouldn't you put barriers for people who want to bring that prosperity? Uh, that's for the lawmakers and the policy makers to answer. They can, they can, they're in a much better situation to answer it. Uh, this is just anecdotal, uh, and it's happening. It's a very real life phenomenon. So you know, sure we can stay home, uh, or sure somebody else from any other country can really stay home, not come to the US. But there are other countries. You know, we just had uh, Australia inviting some of the uh, entrepreneurs who were um, uh, Indian origin. Uh, of course, there's Canada's reference to Canada in the in the country, uh, in the film. Um, yes, I think it's a very valid debate. We should absolutely have it. Uh, but my job as an artist is to show what's happening, uh, and you know, the policymakers can take the right action. My main thing would be that if somebody is coming home and bringing so much of prosperity, logically speaking, you should make it easier, not harder. Yep, no doubt. Well, thank you all for coming. It was wonderful to have you, and I hope you all enjoyed the film. Yes, we did. Thank you all. Please do uh, collect the cards outside, and please do get in touch with me. I am very happy to answer more questions and uh, answer how you all can be more involved in this. This has been a great audience. Thank you so much. Thank you.